Uh, I know, <laughs> like every <laughs> other word. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any you advice, advice for a young, young artist, artist with, with no connections? connections? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, totally. totally. Um, how do you, how navigate, do you navigate, navigate them? How do you, <laughs> you navigate, navigate the art world? world? Well, well, I would, I would say, say for young, young artists, artists, don't, don't let anyone, anyone make you feel like, like you're, you're stupid, stupid or you don't, don't know what's going on, on or you're small just because you're young. young. Even if you're young, you have power. And, and if you have a tight vagina, <laughs> if you can give good head, <laughs> you're sad. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Just like, okay, how do you get gallery representation? Like, talk me through like your first gallery representation. How did you get it? Okay, because I don't think you gave me that. I worked for an artist. Actually, Actually, this, this is, is probably, probably like, like I remember when I was at art school and people would, would like, like ask, ask the teacher, teacher "How do you get gallery, gallery representation?" Like, it was like, always like, like, "We don't know." Like, like, like you, just you just fucking do. do. But, but I, I, um, I had a really great teacher at RISD, um, a, a painting, painting professor. professor. And when, and I, when moved I moved back, back to New York, York after China, China, he reached out and said that he had a friend who was looking, looking for a studio assistant and, and wanted, wanted to know if I wanted to apply. apply. And so I did. And, and she worked, worked with a gallery, gallery. Um, that I ended up I working with. So I so worked I with her for a summer as her assistant and then got to got know to her, her gallerist. gallerist. She introduced me to her gallerist. Um, and I thought it was a really great program. And we just like like started, started a conversation a about doing a show together. They ended up representing me, and so we did one show together, together, together for like a couple of years or a year, maybe a couple of years. And then I ended up moving to a different gallery, and then a different gallery. So I don't know. So would you say maybe putting yourself out there, putting yourself out there, like going to shows, meeting people? I never did that. <laughs> but like that's like what everyone always says. That's the thing to do. But yeah, meeting people definitely. It's like all about social media. Social media, media for, for sure. sure. I mean, I, mean, I think, think. I don't know. I, don't know. I think I you think like, you like there's, there's like a balance. balance. Like, if you're, if you're too, too much of an Instagram, Instagram artist, then like the art world will, will not accept you. you. Or like or the like New, New York, York like, 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 I don't know. Yeah, why, yeah, why is the art world so bitchy? It's, it's so bitchy. But why do you think it is? It's just like there's so much money? I think there's a lot of unregulated money. There's a lot of ego. 